Picture this, a recording studio somewhere far, far away. Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready. Welcome, Watchers of Illusion, to my Castle of Confusion. It is the 25th of May, and it's episode number 399. Nearly 400 episodes in. I can't actually believe it. Where's the time gone? Anyway, I'm looking at Yazzy. I did promise. You remember when I did the Mega Drive one, I did say there was a Spectrum version. So that's what I'm looking at today. It is the ZX Spectrum version of Yazzy, and it's shaping up to be rather marvellous. I kind of I kind of like the fact that... Uh, it's basically exactly like the Mega Drive. And I think this came, this one came first. Um, but it's, it's, it's absolutely delightful. Look at it. Absolutely fantastic. So let's go through the usual criteria. So it looks graphics first. Very simple, but so cutesy. I mean, look at the little character. Isn't he cute? Um, level layout's nice as well. Graphics are very kind of, well, say retro, that's kind of the whole point, but uh, you, you see what I mean. Um, you play, obviously, the role of Yazzy, and you have to collect the gold bars that are on the screen. Uh, you can do that by running over them, and uh, that's basically your uh, mission. You can do this by dropping through the platforms, uh, going up and down the ladders, and by pickaxing holes through the landscape, which is easier said than done. So, it starts off fairly simply, as you would expect a game to do, um, but I, I can promise you this game gets trickier as it progresses. Um, once you have collected all of the gold bars, then the level will end and you'll go on to the next one. Uh, this game was released in 2019, by the way. Uh, the Mega Drive version of Yazzie was released this year. So. It's great to see, and it's Retro Souls again, by the way. Um, big, big fan of these guys. They're doing such a good job on these games. Uh, I'm quite excited to see what they're going to come up with next, to be honest. So the uh, the sound is really good as well. Got a really nice soundtrack as you're playing through the game with all the little blips and blops that you're used to with the ZX Spectrum. But they somehow seem to be better than you would remember them, uh, which is great. So... I'm, I'm saying this is a 1 to 8k game because of everything that's in it, the sound effects and the music and everything else all ring towards that being a uh, 1 to 8k release. So if you've got a 1 to 8k Spectrum, it will run on a ZX Spectrum 1 to 8. Uh, you can also upload it to an emulator and play that as well. Up to you, of course, whichever is easier for you. If you haven't got a ZX Spectrum, then obviously you're going to be a bit stuck. So I would recommend probably Spectaculator as one of the better ZX Spectrum emulators out there. Um, anyway, the controls are very easy. It's up, down, left, right. And fire, basically when you've got a pickaxe, will chop a hole in the floor. And that's it. You've got unlimited lives, uh, which is great because you're going to need them. Um, and basically you just play to your heart's content, which is how games should be really, isn't it? And I think you'll get... If you're a platform fan, you're going to get a lot of enjoyment out of this game, which is really nice. Um, but, you know, it's a simplistic idea. Run around the screen, collecting items. Once you've got all the items you need, it's on to the next level. And it just works. It really works. Um, and I would I would say that this is on par with the Mega Drive version. I mean, it's obviously it's the same game, but it's nice because you've got... They, they would have had the opportunity to have maybe spruced it up a bit for the Mega Drive or changed things that didn't quite work on the Spectrum, but you know what? They didn't need to because the game is pretty flawless. Um, so, essentially, the pickaxes are used to knock a hole in the floor. Uh, the green platforms you can actually just drop through, but the brick you can't. So you're going to have to sort of... You can drop through like that there, but I'm stuck in here now. So you'd use a pickaxe to get through the floor. And, oh, that was close. Almost. That was that shaved. That was a close shave, that was. Anyway, um, so it's a, it's a, got a puzzle element as well. Because, obviously, you've got to figure out your way around the level to be able to collect all of the gold bars. Which, uh, again, works really nicely. Now, these blue panels on the floor with the arrows is the direction you'll drop through them. Um, so, this is one of those ones where you've got to figure out the level layout. 
So you can go across here, you can drop through all these green ones. Obviously you can't get both sides at this point. So you're going to drop through and then you can go from the other side, get your gold bars, drop through the other side and then drop down again and rinse and repeat basically. So that's quite nice. I like that. I like the fact the game's instantly playable as well. There's no sort of, you know, tricky intros to play. You're just going to play. And that's really, really nice. A game you can get stuck into from the offset is always a good thing. Um, it's a one-player game, but that's not really a problem. Because it's unlimited lives, you can do past the controller. You can try and see how far you can get, um, as opposed to how far your friends can get. So there are ways of making this multiplayer, if you so desire. Um, and I think a game that has unlimited lives like this is really quite a nice one to do that with. Um, as soon as you lose a life, pass the controller to a family member. Um, because uh, at the moment we can't go out and see other people. But that's, you know, th leave this one if you would like to leave this one. I wouldn't recommend leaving this one. Um, have a go on, on your own anyway. Or if you've got brothers and sisters that would like to have a go, then get them involved. Uh, but yeah, once this lockdown is finished, we shall be able to get our friends around and multiplay once more. Yes, indeed. Um, so the playability factor is amazing. I, I think it's just one of those games that you would you would just come back to again and again, just because you can. Oh, I'm not doing so well here. Um, um, and, and it's just it's got that likability factor as well, which some games just don't have. Um, you've got a cute little character that you can identify with. If you get frustrated, you can throw him into a fire, and it doesn't matter because you've got unlimited lives. <laughs> um, yes enough of the evilness but yeah these platforms you can extend by pushing down and fire and they will uh, ex expand so there you go uh, and there's just various ways that you can grab all of the gold bars in the level um I think the Mega Drive had a restart button. I haven't found that on the Spectrum version yet. Uh, not saying it's not there but I haven't needed it so far so that's not too bad um, Looking for age range on this as well. I've pushed down a bit too much there. Um, any really. Um, young players will get a kick out of this and older players will get a kick out of this just purely for the fact that it just gets challenging after a time. It's not, it's not just plain sailing and easy <clears throat> for the duration. It's quite deceptive in that way. You think, oh, I've got this level nailed and then you'll realize that you've left the bar somewhere and you've got to renegotiate. Um, Sorry, renavigate. I don't know where we know negotiate. You're going to negotiate with the mobs, are you? Um, but it's a great game. It's well put together. And Retro Souls for me are one of the leaders at the moment in this in this new retro gaming uh, thing. It's just nice to be keeping the scene alive after all these years as well, and and finding different uh, things that the machines can do that we never knew existed back when we had them and we played them, which is great because it's showing a new lease of life and a different side to all the games that we used to play. There's no way that we would have anticipated that the ZX Spectrum could do something like this, for example, um, or the C64 doing the Wreck-It Ralph. It's just one of those things, you know, it's, it's really nice to see and it keeps that hardware alive because they are all designed to work on real machines, which is even better. And as a retro gamer, that's exactly what you want, really. I've trapped myself there, that wasn't very good, was it? Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, go and download this one. It's another one where you can... Uh, you can download it for free, uh, but if, like I always say, support the developers because you know what they're giving us some some quality stuff here. Um, you know, it's not it's not a game that you would say oh, I've wasted my money on at all. So go on, go and go and give them a couple of quid. It's it's worth it, absolutely worth it. And if you're looking for something to beat the boredom, then blum and neck, you couldn't go wrong uh, with Yazzy. So go and get it, have a play, and just enjoy yourselves. You know. We've got to do something to beat the boredom. Boredom Busters. That's what she would, that's what she would call the uh, retro games from now on. Boredom Busters, because that's exactly what they are. Um, but have some fun with it. Have a go with it. And then let me know in the comments what you think of the game yourself. It's all right me enjoying it, but, you know, it's not going to be everybody's cup of tea. But it's always good to see people that have downloaded it on the recommendation that I've given and then they've enjoyed it themselves which kind of you know validates the fact that the games are good and they are fun and you know even the ones that I've reviewed that are absolutely terrible people have gone actually you're right that was pretty pretty rubbish um anyway that's about it from this review guys I hope you're all staying safe and I will catch you soon with a brand new review 
and uh, yeah, catch you next time. This has been Yazzie on the ZX Spectrum from Retro Souls. I've been Rich. This has been the Retro Revival Show. I will catch you again very soon. You keep it retro. I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.